Hello YouTube and welcome back to my Let's Play SimCity on Sundays. So as you can recall from my last episode, I was doing a lot of um, kind of tweaking in my other cities to get them um, to produce more materials for the international um, airport that uh, I've got going on. And I'm back now in sort of my primary city, the first one that I started working on. Uh, this is the one that's sort of modeled after the town that I'm living in right now. And um, in this episode, I'm kind of working a little bit more on doing some additional improvements on this city. So as you can see here, I'm uh, doing a little additional uh, expansion on the university. Uh, there's one more dormitory that could be built and uh, went ahead and plopped that into place. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of play around with some of the things. There's a pedestrian path that I can put in here. So I'm going to kind of put in some, some path, pedestrian paths for the students so they can kind of walk around without having to, you know, walk on, uh, walk on the sidewalks all the time on the streets and things. Um, it's always one of my favorite parts of, of a campus is, uh, are the pedestrian pathways and things. And I probably didn't, didn't design this university as well as I could have in terms of the layout and everything. I could have probably designed it a little bit better, but um, be that as it may, this is, <laughs> this is this is what I came up with. I just kind of plunked them all in the, into a central area kind of here in, in one location. And it's right next to the, uh, the solar power plant <laughs> that's powering the town. Um, I may at some point eventually upgrade uh, to uh, nuclear power. Um, but uh, right now they're uh, they're doing just fine with the um, the solar power, so might as well leave that as it is. And then I noticed that you know we're getting a lot of rail traffic. I mean, look at this. I've got you know 1,200 riders every day, and they're complaining that the, the trains are too crowded. Um, and I was kind of looking at okay, what do I do? How do I do that? But then I've got some other. Um, complaints coming in like fire service is too slow so I was like okay well let me take care of some of these other things first and then I'll come back to uh, the rail a bit later uh, and here I'm trying to put in a, a big fire station and I'm realizing there really isn't any room for it so I, I ended up switching to a smaller one so uh, I think you know in terms of, of getting these cities put together having a larger um, you know one or two larger uh, facilities for fire and health and police and stuff and then kind of filling in the rest with um, with these little little smaller ones is probably um, you know more than adequate especially with the with the you know size of the uh, the cities that we've got right now we can't really get them any bigger than this so I think this is more than adequate all uh, right, so and of course, I, as you can see, I added some ploppable uh, items for that one, uh, some additional fire trucks, etc. Uh, that kind of increases the range of these little guys as well, so that's uh, that's always helpful. Um, if you can afford it, you know, always expand these uh, these things. I love I love these ploppable buildings. It's kind of fun. <laughs> you get to go plop plop. <laughs> um, Anyway, so yep, trying to increase the uh, um, fire safety or decrease the fire hazard, as it were, uh, in this town. All right, not enough medium wealth shoppers. Hmm. <laughs> so um, I think one of the things I talked about last episode that I am going to be doing at some point in the future, but. Um, uh, not in the next few episodes, but is possibly building um, another town close by where it's basically just residences, no um, commercial, no uh, industry, and uh, they're going to have to come to this city, uh, hopefully, because uh, I want to, you know, put it in such a proximity that the city is the most convenient for them to go to for shopping and work, etc because I just um, don't have enough room uh, in order to uh, to get things, you know, the way I want them to see here. I've got to uh, to take out a whole street, which is making some people upset, in order to put in another rail station so that I can kind of relieve the, uh, the rail traffic a little bit. But because of that, I now have, you know, there's going to be fewer residences 
And here's one thing I think that I don't like in the game right now is the fact that you can't um, connect. Like I've got this train here and it says it can't connect the, the, the little road that goes with the train to that intersection because it's too close to an existing intersection. Well, the existing intersection happens to be a train crossing the road. Um, the other intersections aren't that close and it would make perfect sense for that little road to connect to the main road over there, but no, people are gonna have to drive the side streets to get to the rail station. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, so, you know, for, uh, to that end, I'm actually doing upgrades here. I'm, I'm upgrading from a low density street to a medium density street, um, just so that it can uh, handle the increased capacity for people to, uh, to go to the rail station in the first place. And it's like, you know, that's kind of silly, in my opinion, you know. If you want a lot of intersections close together, why why, why restrict that? I, I'm not quite sure. But, be that as it may. Um, and if you're wondering why I've got this kind of crazy street pattern thing going on in this uh, town anyway, like I said, I've patterned this town somewhat after the uh, the town I live in right now where all the main streets are on a grid, but all the side streets in the neighborhoods are kind of these curvy um, curvy streets going around in various curves and, and, and things like that. And I think the intention was, and when the city was being developed, um, especially as those types of things were being developed, um, the neighborhood streets, if they're curvy, people are forced to drive slower. So. I think that was the intention there, so that's why I've got this kind of crazy, curvy side street thing going on, just because that's sort of modeled uh, after how uh, the, the city I live in now uh, kind of works. Although you can see I've got some residences and um, kind of grid patterns, and uh, the reason for that is that, you know, not everywhere, even in this town, like when it was um, the, the oldest part of town is kind of... Uh, even the side streets are on a grid pattern. The newer parts of town have the, the, the new curvy uh, street thing going on. So, uh, be that as it may. So here you can kind of see, a, you can see the neighboring city over there, the kind of the circle city with uh, you get Eiffel Tower and stuff on that one. And uh, I'm kind of taking uh, this kind of different view of the city. Um, just to kind of, and you can see the International Airport kind of being built way back in the background, to kind of fuzzy there. Um, but I'm looking at the city here from kind of a different perspective, kind of looking at, you know, what's what's happening in the city, looking at the traffic flows. Uh, you can see I've got a couple of, like, you know, people are talking. Uh, oh, and here I've got just a warning popping up. Um, storage is full with the electronics. So uh, trying to now, that's my next goal, is to kind of figure out, okay, what are we doing with this? How do we fix it? So producing processors, okay. So we're, we're, we're getting more than enough alloy coming in to, uh, to produce processors and things. So we're, uh, <laughs> we're at capacity with the processors. I think I've maxed out all of the delivery truck options. Now it's supposed to be going over here to the consumer um, electronics thing, and they're supposed to be taking the processors in, um, and uh, and they're and they're you know producing them and and building them and everything. Let's see what this guy has to say. So he says like, let's expand. All right, well let's see what we can do about expanding. I think. I, I know it, it's like I thought I had expanded it uh, to everything that I could, and I I have. Um, and one thing I'm thinking of now that I didn't think of at the time is, oh, maybe I need to build another factory. Uh, that actually may solve my problem. And it didn't it didn't occur to me at the time um, that I might actually need another factory, but it's entirely possible. Uh, There's another reason why I probably need to build a uh, kind of like a suburb of residences. Um, oh, okay, here we go. I, I am able to add some more um, facility here, but eventually I'm going to need to build another factory as well, I think, because I'm uh, obviously producing uh, more than uh, 
producing more uh, silicon than I can uh, use. <laughs> now they're unhappy, but now what are they unhappy about? Plastic, which is an import that I'm bringing in from uh, through the trade ports. So I guess maybe that's the next thing I have to look at is, okay, I'm not getting enough plastic or something, so. Because consumer electronics, they use a lot of plastic. <laughs> and they're still saying that they're full, even though looking at the bars, they're not completely full. I mean, they're definitely uh, utilizing things. But yep, next thing to do is look at the trade port and see what's going on there. So we've kind of maxed out on the alloys and the plastic. So we've got plenty of plastic and alloy coming in, so that's not a problem. Um, but the consumer factory is uh, having problems producing things. It's like, okay, let's go. And you can see here how much, you know, uh, and we're importing, we're exporting, and how much money we're bringing in just through the consumer electronics. It's like, you know, we're, we're definitely making more money from that, at least the company is making more money from the uh, exports we're doing than, than the, what we're bu buying to import. And you can see the little trucks driving around. Uh, the little blue icons going around, you can kind of see what, what's being delivered where, uh, the, the metals and the, the electronics and everything else. So that kind of gives you an indication of what, you know, kind of what's flowing and what's not flowing, etc. And I'm kind of looking at here and I'm like, okay, let's see, I don't need a freight shipping service. I'm not using freight shipping. So we've got alloy, we've got that storage, we've got that storage, we've got the TV storage. Um, the alloy storage is at capacity, so um, I need to be able to build another uh, another storage thing here. Yep, alloy storage. Boom. There we go. That should help alleviate some of the uh, the alloy storage problems. And uh, obviously, if uh, if this trend continues, I'm going to have to build another trade port with more storage. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, things are kind of, things are chugging along, it's just uh, trying to get the right balance between imports and exports is one thing I'm still kind of playing around with and learning in the game. But, um, I am going to slowly wrap this episode up, I think. Uh, I have lots more tweaking to do on this city over time but that can be done in a future episode. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate the support. Until